abusers, they come across charismatic, friendly, and kind. Hmm. Hey, hey, freaking, I'm so bloody cute. I'm so bloody cute. No, I'm so bloody cute. Look at the eyeshadow. Look at the lipstick. Look at the lips. Look at the contour. Look at the highlight. Don't even dare me this year. Hello, everybody. Peace out. I hope everybody is asking of me. Are you okay? How's the week been going? I'm here with another week review for Julia hair. Honestly, this law have really transformed my brain. Like this, the hair is looking so natural. I have never really done U part or V part wig before, but honestly, this has changed my life. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to frontal. I don't know if I wanna go back. Something for the girls that don't want to be gluing and gluing and gelling and gelling. Honestly, if this is you lot's life here, yeah, I think I'm converting. I just literally put four clips, bam, bam, left them into part, which I haven't done by the way, which I will do for you in a memento. I haven't even like straightened the part in. Like I haven't even, do you know how simple this is? This is the life you lot are living. Inside the wig, you have some clips that you can, you know, excuse my finger. I don't go and do my, I'm scared to do my nail. Kim so nearly destroy all my cuticle. I had to just tell her, anyway, I'm going too far. So this is just like, you have the clips on the inside. There's like four, five like clips. You literally just put it on your head, apply the clip, close the clip, and you are ready to go. Literally, it is that easy. And I'm not gonna lie, for coily hair, this hair was like you can run your fingers through it. It's not naughty at all. Could naughty. You just put your hand through it. It's like straight hair. Honestly, the quality is was was quite um alarming. Um, V parts kinky straight i literally have like the tiniest lever i'm not even gonna lie to you fam like you don't need to have this i'm not gonna lie to you you know when you run to the door yeah and like you have no wig on your head but you order delivery this is the wig for that that you can just quickly go and run and collect your wig and put the wig on it's so fast <laughs> it's so cheeky ah it's a catfish honestly it's so sick i love it 24 inch v part kinky straight that's the one that i have but i have all the information down in the disres disrespect care in the, dis <laughs> the description bar below um and honestly it is a game changer using my mj wand to wand down the hair so that it can be flat on the top so that it can come down a bit but you know what because my hair is so is natural anyway like I didn't even need to do much. So this is the part where I start to contemplate. I'm thinking to myself that should I put baby ear? Should I put baby ear? Should I put something? Because I don't know, like I'm so used to doing baby hair. I'm like, even though it didn't need it, I was still just kind of trying to fill out the wig to see whether I should put some kind of baby hair. Brush, yes girl, just brush that back because there was no need for me. There's no need, bro. Like, it just needs to be combed back into the hair. Put a little piece of gel, you know what I mean? Lay that thing down, bro. And that's it. Like, spicy, fam. Because I'm so used to doing lace wigs, yeah, and frontals, I think it just takes so long. They're spending an extra hour just doing baby hair and stuff. So I feel like I just sat there, like, I don't have to do anything else. Like, is this, is this what it's supposed to look like? It's like, I should just go there and throw away all the wig that I have in my wardrobe. Honestly, we've been spending hours on these frontals just to apply them, glue them, make sure the glue is not hanging, make sure the glue is not white, make sure that it's not going on your hairline. Get it? Ah, it's too much. It's actually too much now. So just be able to put down the air and it's okay. And then the, my hair is matching with the actual wig. No, okay. Okay, I might just be converted. Give me a thumbs up, man, and tell me I'm doing all right. You know what I mean? I'm here all, all hours just, you know what I mean, filming and that, like, you know what I mean? Support me, blood. Support me, fam. I feel like I look younger. I don't know. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. So excited about this one because it's an actual question from you guys. Let's talk about all the, the things that we don't really want to talk about. It's highlighting, not that we are insulting people, 
but we're at least you know bringing awareness to it grace how do you differentiate what is an abusive relationship or like if someone is not physically abusing you like they're not slapping you they're not you know beating you listen i don't really know much about this because when it comes to abuse i will slap you <laughs> what are the things that i should be wary of if i'm suspecting it and i thought you know what this happens a lot where that when you're in a relationship with someone there can be all sorts of abuse different types of abuse that we go through and you get used to the abuse and you start to think that oh it's normal when it's not normal least if we go on this chat this um, girl talk today we can highlight light a few things i even check google i open google i said let me go and find out what they think that what well, maybe is the red flag what what do we look at what does one look out for public abuse in public abuse in public abuse in public abuse it will not be well with you anybody that's doing public display of insults outside it will not be well with you do you know what that does to someone especially when you respect your partner you know when there's a lot of respect here and somebody wants to go and say something very very dumb it's not good <laughs> and somebody can really drag you to the mud they can drag you th th through the mud. You can tell me about myself and you can tell me, Grace, so so lot to do, you're not okay. But when I'm outside, don't come and disgrace me. If your man or your wife is disgracing you outside verbally, so they're talking and they're telling you off like, why are you doing that? Where are you going? Oh, but don't talk back to me. All, the, all of that stuff, to hell with you. And nobody on this earth should be disgracing the outside. Your mom did not hold you in her belly for nine months, only for you to be come out and for, for you to be ridiculed. For them to be ridiculing you in public, in the presence of others. Listen, I will actually, because they know that you respect them. So you're not gonna give them the full effect that they know you have, that they know you have, they know you have that smoke. That's why they waited to do it in public because they're an animal. And it will not be well with you. People are actually so mad, I can't stand them. There are some people in the world that they take their anger to another level and you don't know what they're capable of doing. Don't be there when they are doing their madness. Don't be there when they want to start showing them disgrace and their madness. There are some people that get so angry here that you have to look at them and be like, you know, you need help. Don't come and put your 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 bad spirit on me because there's some people that literally their lives is not going anywhere their life is not going anywhere they're sad they're lonely they're angry with their life and then they'll come and pick some gentle babe or some gentle guy and come and tear their life down why stay with your anger in your side and go and focus and go to therapy so that they can help you bring it down to be you know outbursts to be outbursting everywhere <laughs> To be out bursting everywhere is just shambolic. Like, it really scare you into a place where you're like, oh my God, this is very, very scary. That's when you pick your bag. That's when you run. You call 999 and you get some help, baby, because honestly, the world is so nice when you don't have anybody to just, to give you high blood pressure. Listen, if you're not giving me billions, I don't know how you even have the audacity to bring my, my blood anywhere, moving anywhere. It should not even be moving. <laughs> My blood should not be moving. Ever, to ever raise your voice to me. They raise their voice to a certain tempo and it's like, you, you shock you, be, ah! I'm scared, I have to get out now. Stop waiting. Stop thinking about it. The anger one is the most scary. Don't think that, I know that girls, you know, a little bit of anger makes it, oh, they're sexy. But ah, don't let sex sexiness let them, don't let them come and beat you, you know, because of, don't let them come and beat you because of sexy. Don't let them come and beat you because of someone that has six pack. <laughs> you can't. Honestly, it's really beyond me. There was someone who I dated that actually scared me one time like that. They just raised their voice. I said, I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the police today. Since you want to raise your voice like you're in the opera. Listen. I'm calling the police for you today. Don't try and like, 
oh let's see how it goes <laughs> you people are really you're really you know even the question god says you're really um playing with your life i'm a lady okay i'm a lady you talk to me with manners or else you can see yourself outside in the dustbin their character is seeming scary where you think it's a form of abuse that's enough for you to say i not do again i not do again i not do boyfriend i not do husband again please carry your bag and go why don't you want to live stress-free sister brother why don't you want to live stress-free because me i want to live stress-free i want to go down on my bed in nights and i don't want to think that Oh, somebody is cheating on me. Somebody is beating me. I'm scared to wake up in the morning. I'm scared to walk to the... I'm walking on heck shell. I beg. I beg. You're too big for that. Extreme possessiveness. Oh, yaori. Like, you're crazy. Oh, where are you? Oh, where are you going? Oh, what are you wearing? You know, some people don't think that, you know, a man telling you what to wear is not a form of control. Of course it is. Of course it is. Fight me if you want to fight me. Like a man telling you, not that your man is giving you the advice. Advice is different. I'm telling you telling. There's a difference between advice and a difference between telling, ordering, forcing, emotionally pinching you to basically do as I have said. You know, there's a lot of do as I say type guys. A man who is confident in himself will tell you, oh, you know what? I prefer that to that as opposed to wear that. You have to wear that. Don't look like a dirty, don't look like a dirty whore. Anything that still makes you feel sexy and beautiful and amazing, you wear that. Don't let any dirty birdie, what, that you can't wear this or you can't wear that. You can wear whatever you want. Somebody who is confident in themselves somebody who is strong in themselves somebody who is mighty in themselves they will not care what you're wearing as long as you're not naked as long as you're not naked and you're wearing clothes we're talking about the people that are wearing clothes oh. <laughs> somebody should not be telling you that you have to you must wear that jacket today <laughs> all those types of emotional baggage garbage he's rubbish throw him in the bin please even let me help you to throw him okay that is a big rap, fat red flag if you see somebody that's abusing animals i think you're sick in the head i actually think you need help abusers they come across charismatic friendly and kind hmm. hey, hey compassionate behind closed doors huh. they'll seem compassionate loving oh i love my baby i love my behind closed doors they are abusing you. Ah, it will not be well with your soul. They are terrifying, unpredictable, and calculating. I know you know that some girls are sitting here. Yes, some girls are sitting here. Unpredictable. You don't know which one you're gonna get. Which idiot are you gonna get today? Whether he wants to fight you, whether he wants to slap you, whether he wants to yo sis, bro, my bro. Ships where women are the abusers as well. No woman on this earth should be putting her fingers on you. Must be jumping up and slapping guys, bro. They're jumping and slapping. Ah, ah. Learn to cool down. Learn to cool down. Learn to rest. Learn to rest. Because wow, wow, woo. Girls are really be slapping up their minds, you know. I really do not respect it. Because if that was the other way around, the other way around, we'll be taking them to the police station in handcuffs. So let's everybody just keep their fingers to themselves. I don't think anyone deserves anyone's hands on them. You keep your hand to yourself. It's in this COVID. Learn to keep your filthy fingers to yourself okay unless it's something sexual <laughs> let's read it again one one last time they come across charismatic friendly and kind compassionate behind closed doors they are terrifying no behind closed that closed doors they are terrifying unpredictable and calculating most abusers work hard to keep up a positive image ha! Hear that again. Most abusers work very hard 
to keep up a positive image <laughs> from from what a powerful message this goes back to say as well that not every um relationship that you see that you are seeing every day whether it's instagram or even in real life that they are laughing kiki kaka kaka kiki and stuff is not going on everyone has their problems in their relationship nobody's relationship is fantastic i'm telling you that for free and for fun and for fun <laughs> because bruh you know people be out here looking positive and everything ain't positive in their relationships still can't be looking at that and thinking that is a you know a, a relationship you aspire just pray to god i'd be saying it pray to god i say god in heaven i met this guy he's the love of my life what do i do with him do i throw to the bay or do i take him moving forward and you wait for the god's reply God will either take that guy out of your life and you don't even know how he disappeared. It's happened to me several times. Whether I pray, I say, God, I'm with a guy, he's an idiot, but I don't know, I love him, I keep going back. Before long, he's flown out of my life. I don't know where he is anymore. I don't know who he is. I don't know anything about him. He can walk across the streets. I say, I don't know the man. I've never seen that man before in my life. I do that very well. I do that very well. I do that very well. I know how to act like I've never seen you a day in my life. It's a talent. It's a skill. You have to learn that skill. Because sometimes there are certain people that you bring in your life, yeah, that they're dragging you back. They're dragging you back to the hellfire that they're coming from. And you have to, you have to let go. Or else you'll be going down and you'll be going down, you'll be going down. You just realizing your life is going back. You don't know why. Why is my life going back? So you have to wake up. You have to wake up. What kind of flavors outside. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you for you to grab them. But you're too busy. Same with the idiots. Be confident. Be secure. Be smart. Be sure. Let's see, have this. And I feel like the more you rise yourself and you, you build up your confidence, you'll find it very easy to, to know when this person is an animal or whether, yes, this is the love of my life. You know, somebody cannot be beating you, abusing you, laughing at you, waiting for any opportunity to laugh in your face and they will be calling you, telling you that they love you. That is not love. That is abuse. Okay, that is abuse. That is abuse. That is torture. That is torture. Talk, you know, they withdraw things from you. They, they withdraw hugging and kissing. They, they withdraw romance. They withdraw everything. But they're still telling you that they love you. They, that's not love. You cannot abuse me by taking, you know, the things that I love about you away and expect me to be sitting there waiting for you. That's madness. You carry your bag and get us. You carry your bag and get it get the hell there are different forms of abuse and i just feel like the main thing is if you feel uncomfortable get just get out get out find someone to talk to you tell your brethren tell your friends tell everybody call everybody scream and shout also i don't know how legal pepper spray is but i always have those mini deodorants and i think that will work. it would be the same effect i let his eyes freeze up and just when you spray that got to be it will happen it will happen yeah that's that's all i'll say you know just make sure you are putting yourself first